Slovakia won, Romania won. And Romania are now top of group E. <laughs> Thanks to a Razvan Marin penalty. Again, this game was VAR, VAR, VAR. That was not a penalty, guys. What was that? That was not a penalty. The game was barely touched. And if like the contact even looked like it was from outside. Like, ah, I'm so mad with VR today. There was that one and there was the penalty that was given for Georgia. Mind you, I'm 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 not fast. Like I, I'm glad Georgia won beat the uh tournament hopefuls in Portugal 2-0, but then it was too soft. Both were too soft. Like both did not deserve to be penalties, in my opinion. Um Duda had given Slovakia the lead in the 24th minute. Uh Slovakia looked like they were really, really rocking Romania. Romania to me. A very good defensive team. The last two games, like they've been a bit exposed um, in terms of just create the opponents creating a lot of chances against them. They considered five goals, only five goals in ten games in qualifying. But I guess that was more of if you think about it in qualifying, those ten games that you play, maybe there's two games that are really difficult against the other team that's good in that group, right? The other teams you can more or less just play good defensively and not concede that much, right? Because you're playing the likes of Macedonia and all those guys. Um, Gibraltar and all those teams. But um, I believe Dubravka was really good today as well for Slovakia. Um, uh, who else impressed me in this team? Uh, 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 um, Pekarik, someone who I talked about. Uh, Duda, Duda who got the goal. Haraslin as well, really causing havoc on the left wing, getting shots off like... They were, they, were, they, were, they were solid. They were solid. Um, Nikolai Stanchu for me was quite quiet. Like I, I always expect him to play a bit more and be cause a bit more havoc. But then this is the third game of the group. This is like the the third game in like seven days. So fatigue starts becoming a factor, right? The people who used to finish matches, to finish matches like Razvan Marin was subbed off, Dragush was subbed off, Koman was subbed off, Haji was subbed off. Like the fatigue starts becoming a factor. So that's why you've seen so many draws in this last group stage games like and then it's so tight because no one wants to be knocked out the only team that actually rotated in the third game was portugal no one rotated germany did not rotate like no one rotated because it was still so tight even coming into the last games of the group so romania top the group in group e which i'm so proud of them like this is insane slovakia are now on four points which means i think they've also qualified wait let me just confirm that before I give them a nice big shout out. Um, but yeah, Romania actually qualify ahead of Belgium. That to me is like the biggest thing, right? Um, Slovakia, yes, qualify. And they're going to face England. And that is going to be a tough game for England. Already every game is tough for them. So uh, that's just me saying. But yeah, that is how the group ends. Belgium, Slovakia, and... Um, Belgium, Slovakia, and Romania, the three teams that qualify from Group E. And that is a wrap for group the group games for Euro 2024.